Welcome back everybody, and for those of you that are new to the channel, thanks for checking out SK Lifestyle. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So today I'm obviously discussing the numbers that we bought for our inflatable boat from BoatNumberPlate.com. Yeah, that's right. Uh, perhaps you have went another route or you're actually looking at these uh, for the first time to use on your boat. Either case, I kind of explored a few options and I just really thought it was going to be difficult to just put... Uh, letters on there like you normally do for like my jet ski which you can see to the left there and really expect them to stay on so I went and searched the internet and obviously I found boat uh, number plate.com and I think I may have even discovered it through uh, boats to go.com where we bought the inflatable now this is like a vinyl uh, piece of fabric that they build that they make that you can have and have all the numbers in one place and just adhere it as you're watching me do now. So it's not much different really to patching a boat. So if you ever had to patch a boat or a raft or a tube or something, you're pretty much doing the same thing. So you're just going to use the same kind of sealant, uh, uh, you know what I mean, uh, vinyl glue that you would for that on the back of this. That's what really made me feel comfortable about this. It, it seemed as if it if anything was going to be able to last and stand up, this would be it. Now you're watching me kind of apply the glue and I sort of put it on the backing first, of course, and then flipped it over. And now I kind of pressed it down and I'm, you know, smoothing, uh, you know, the edges out and stuff. It's a little difficult because obviously, you know, it's uh, the, the uh, boat is blown up, you know, it's very firm, but it's still an inflatable. There's still a flex and a give to it, of course. So... You can see me kind of adding some glue to the edges. Now, if you're going to go ahead and buy this and apply it, my suggestion would kind of be to be a little overzealous on the edges um, if you really want it to look pristine. Now, I'll say, I'll just tell you right now, at the end of this, after using it for a solid week uh, without taking the boat off the water, it held up. The thing never came off. There was no worries. But around some of the edges, there were a little bit of bubbling, and I'll show that towards the end. You'll get a, a better close-up view of the boat on the water with the numbers. Um, but you can see me trying to alleviate some of that now. And it did start to work, uh, but, you know, I, I kind of wanted it, you know, the boat was brand new and everything. I didn't think I wanted a bunch of glue just kind of sticking around the edges. And it's probably not the best, but if you're not so much concerned with the aesthetic look of things, I think... Overall, the boat numbers will actually lay down perfectly if you apply more glue than is probably needed, and then you're going to uh, you know, end up with some of the excess kind of all around the edging. Now, you might be able to scrape that off after, you know, within a certain amount of time with like a hot rag or something once most of it is applied, um, but just something to be mindful of. Now, the other thing that's great is you can, I think you can get a couple of different color backings, like maybe black gray, white, uh, you'll have to check the website. And of course, I'll put the website in the uh, link or in the description down below. You know, that was pretty cool. And of course, then you could pick whatever color numbers. Obviously, the boat I have is gray, so it just seemed right to just uh, get that matching color. Overall, it's not difficult to apply. The amount of time I'm taking is just to really kind of make it look perfect. It was early in the morning and this was the first time, you know, the boat was going to have its maiden voyage. So I just kind of wanted to take my time and you know, take an extra five minutes and try to make it, uh, you know, extra, extra nice. And again, like I said, it actually, it actually didn't come out perfect because, you know, as, you know, things expand and contract, especially day and nighttime on the water, in the sun and so forth, you know, there were still some spaces within uh, the edging where the glue just wasn't as, as prominent. And that's what caused the problem. But I will say overall, I think these are a great purchase. Yeah, maybe like 40, 50 bucks for them. Uh, but, you know, it does come with two, so you can put them on either side. And it's just a lot less hassle. You don't have to worry about it coming off or slipping off and then, you know, potentially having to get, you know, pulled over or something because it's not, you know, correct. Now, here you can actually see, like I said, some of the bubbling at the bottom, but it held up. And that is pretty much the point. So if this was helpful to you all, be sure to hit that like button down below. Again, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. I thank you for your time. And as always, take care. Be safe. SK Lifestyle, I'll see you next time.